I chose to do a PhD because I was bored of being told things by my lecturers. I enjoyed being an undergraduate very much, but by the end of my degree, I was more interested in finding out things for myself. And so a PhD offered the chance to learn about the universe, to contribute to science, uh, and to do some exciting travel as well. I spent a lot of time in Hawaii to telescope. I think a PhD teaches skills that would be useful whatever you end up doing. It teaches you how to organise yourself, it teaches you how to cope uh, with demands coming from, from all directions, and it teaches you to motivate yourself to get through what is fascinating but often rather hard work. I think the biggest challenge is dealing with the many demands of being a researcher. As a PhD student, you're expected to write papers, do uh, science, do data reduction, write code, in my case, travel to telescopes, talk to colleagues, uh, go to seminars, read the literature, um, and give yourself some professional development as well. And the real challenge of PhD is learning to combine all of those things in such a way that you actually get something out at the end. The best reason to do a PhD is because you love the subject that you're going into. If you can't think of anything better than spending three or four years thinking about history or climate science or computer science or astrophysics, then do a PhD. It's a wonderful time uh, to be a researcher and a PhD is actually the most free you'll be in your career to think about the hard problems in your subject. My top tip for anyone thinking of doing a PhD is to make sure you get to know your potential supervisor a little. That person uh, will be setting your life goals for the next three years and so it's important to make sure you've got the same idea about what you want out of a PhD and how you're going to work as they have.